Clearer, he and me, naturally, as you see, and the down part we have also a dream. So that means it's not in the earth. Then we have the main and the main of the earth. So, here is A plus B, B, yes. Then the result is the alpha, then move in the alpha, the C to the B,
from, from 10% of mass to 85% of all mass. That is the biggest, greatest achievement for a teacher. Okay? Yeah. 
If you don't read or make no summarize what you have read, you keep reading. That's why you find that some learners, some parents will get shocked. But my child was reading, was reading for three hours, four hours. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> it's a strategy that you have to learn in order to help your brain to remember, to memorize, to remember, to retain that information. So you might find that someone who only reads for 15 minutes every day. In the example, okay, is someone who's reading for two hours, three hours. Yes. It's like, yeah, I, 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 I always like to compare that with my twin brother. My twin brother reads a lot. We'll spend eight hours continuously reading. Okay, he's going to be a doctor than the lecture. I don't read as much as much. <laughs> but when it came to performance, I used to teach it. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I heard when I was a PhD is that Britain needs to do the PhD. <laughs> but comparing the both of us, very hard work, very focused. If he says he's going to do something, he's going to achieve it, he will do it as he achieves it. Even with his master, it took him almost, I think, five, six years to get it. it was a, there was a subject that he was saying, which we never worked out. It was research and that is the area that he's so good at. I don't know whether it was a problem with the lecture or it was him, okay? Mm-hmm. And I think he was just putting his thoughts across his, his writing properly. So then when I think, when I said, okay, give me your dissertation that you are doing, I want to see it. And then I looked at him, look, we are not arranging it properly here, 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 But I think it can be about three, four attempts. He had been getting distinctions from his master's. It's only the research that lacks. Paper for you to get a master's in the You will read for eight hours, four hours, <laughs> continuous. Even when he was doing his PhD, he was reading 12 hours non stop. <laughs> the whole day reading in the library. <laughs> but for me, I cannot do that. <laughs> I cannot. Because what I I will read in small, small, small sections. Get past this one because I get just a bit in front and understand the way the layout of the exam. Okay? Because I need to get a goal in mind. And when I need to be I need to be, I need to be told, is this going to be anything? Is this going to be one picture? What questions are coming? What questions are I need to come? Then I need to go into that. Okay? Then I underline. I read and underline and then do it. When it comes to the final exam, you will never see you the text. I go to my shows and notes that I've been making one of I started to write during the exam. Okay? So, what you are simply trying to do is you're trying to teach your learners effective ways of learning. Because for my entire life, it's always been. And then you're going to be able to learn So, he did not use the shortest method, the easiest method <laughs> to understand if you can bring in. Exams that they are going to like you to face. If you can familiarize themselves with the way the exams are going to be set, the questions that are going to be likely to be set, you are teaching standard one, standard two, standard three. But there's addition there. You know how the questions are going to be asked. If you do the standard one, with their small numbers, with their one digit, are you understanding? When they just get to standard eight, standard seven, they already know that how the exams will be set. It's not the same. I would say that math is about more numbers. Because of this is and more difficult areas, once in a while, I think algebra is the most difficult part of math. But everything else is built from each thing you should be able to If you want to really look at math calculus, it is built on ECG standard math. Addition and subtraction is still there in high school. It's just to be more digits. Multiplication and division is still there. It is just now it's addition and it's now multiplication of three digits, two digits, four digits. Fractions are still there in form one form two. Which you start learning in primary school. They're still there. It's just that now there's there is now division of 
Three. 
You can bring them like this two plus three. Still. Are you understanding? You are thinking that okay, we have moved into this two single one plus two sets. But you can also do it in three. As long as the total is not one more than two. Are you understanding? And this will be for the most highly intellectual students. Even one one or two they will still be their numbers. Are you understanding? Yeah. Okay. 
can add it to a zero, we just write the number that is there. Cumulative, we say it does not matter, we can add larger parts to smaller parts, one part to another. We can add, add one, add it, plus another, add it, okay, to equal the total or sum, okay? Distributed. Associative addition with said you start off with two parts. You add the two parts, get the sum, plus B, and it, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. And this one's with three numbers. Okay? Yeah. Now, this is written in addition and then like that. When the knowledge needs to be higher than the other layers, but not so high, then we are looking at how do we simplify it, how do we apply it to our amendment to the age of the Okay? Mr. Buchan is addition method. Mm-hmm. 
think the term uh, get let us take a break in between standing up and doing it practically and stuff like that. Okay. What time is it now? Okay. Which for 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 this one for this visit addition? What level do you think of that? So I wanted us to learn this, okay? So you might think what is the relevance. I wanted us to look at all different ways of planning. Okay? So that you 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 have got a broad perspective of conditions, you'll also be able to give these questions to the Okay? Any questions? This is this is a larger part. 
и доверят в моля обидна това. Look at the activities that the teacher is giving out. 
So how is he teaching? Is he explaining? Is he demonstrating? Is he doing pair work, group work, individual work, or class work? And the learners working on their own, and they working in groups. Um, what what sort of questions are being asked? The worksheets, the work itself. Looking later, they look around the learners' books. So how does the teacher mark the learners' book? Does she sign? Does she give marks? How the how the learners cover their books and all those things? Okay. How is the, how how long? Uh, uh, what comments are written there so that you can copy down the comments when you are now teaching your own learners? When she is teaching, if the, if how do the learners participate in the class? Do they all participate? Does she have a good interaction with the learners? All that. What can you learn out of what the teacher is doing that you can use in your own practice? How can you work from what she's doing? How can you improve yours to become better? Then we also look at the register, the she has the register, maybe ask her, can I have a look at your class register, how are the registers written, how are things of work written, the curriculum that she has the syllabus, let me have a look at the syllabus, what sort of things are covered in the syllabus, okay? In case that if you go to literature and you are told to teach standard one, or told to teach standard four, you know. That's why I want you to have the experience of right through the primary school stage. Okay, PCG to write up to standard. If they got here six, stand for standard eight or grade seven or year seven or uh, you know, year six this is Cambridge, uh, standard seven, standard eight, if it's the government, then just have the experience of all these. So that if at any time you go for a job and say they want it, they want uh, you know you're trying to teach up to standard two, okay, standard four, standard five. But if they say they want other kids who who can teach a standard six, standard seven? Ah, you should go for it and go. Because what you are teaching here is almost about that. Even if that's just how it is in primary school level. Okay? Although if you are primary school trained, you can only teach high school. But if you are high school trained, you can teach primary school. Okay? But you can teach right up to the last year of primary school. Okay? Because there's still much way to do that much. But you can focus on standard four or standard five. Okay? But with a degree, I like it's going to be managed. Just teach for a year or two. Then you go to manage it. Become a university teacher, primary school teacher. Go into education office and then why? Set up your own business. You understand? So, you look at the scheme of work, the lesson plan, you look at the registers, the record of marks, how do they record the marks of the students? The test, because you record the test, the exercises, or this stuff. Okay? Then look at how the men are writing the books. On the board, how the teacher writes, how are the classrooms displayed at the chart, the shape, the timetable there. Don't ask, they're just looking. How is the classroom arranged? Okay, is there a classroom library there? Is, are they, and what activities do they do in math, in, in science, in English? What do they do? What topics do they do and how they should teach them? Okay? Is this, if you're looking at documentation of the teacher, you are looking at the methodology of the teacher, how she teaches, and the activities that she gives to the learners. You are then looking at the classroom arrangement and classroom display. Okay? Then you are also looking at the interaction of the teacher and the students. Do the students participate actively? Do they answer questions? Then classroom management also the interaction. When she tells the chicken fight, do they listen and they will behave? All those. What you want to see that she said that she said all done to them, they are motivated them, all those, okay? And then also, we are looking at, then what are the challenges that are in the classroom that the learners can help or the teacher can help? And how you yourself will be able to improve on it? Or ask her how is she done it and how is she helping her? What difficulties is she having in your class? And how is she be able to deal with those difficulties? So that when you also go to your school and work, you cannot be sitting at all. Oh yeah, when I was in the when the teacher said there was large classes or no textbook. So it's the same problem you're going to see that not going to solve it. So you see how she has solved it and how you will solve it. So there's never there should never be a challenge in your class that you cannot solve as an individual teacher. Do you get what I'm saying? You either from the learners or from yourself. You find ways of solving it within your class to make your learning become effective. And um, yeah, we just have to go to ourselves and learn how to do it.
other players. And the best when you have such a best group of players, I always say to them, all of you are the same. Okay? There is no difference. This is Bukoti United Nations director. <laughs> yes. So you say all of you are the same. I, 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 even, I even had one parent in a family in my own school. She came, actually came to me and said, I cannot have my child to be taught amongst the men. I'm an accountant, <laughs> I'm an executive accountant. My husband is a international NGO. Why don't you come to my house? I said, I don't come to people's houses. I came once to someone's house in the UK. I don't, if you want my service, you come here. The child is moved in the middle of the church, that is not. All the learners are treated the same, all the kind of people who they are. And I think that is you know, with men and I think with British people, we are all the same. There is no difference. So if you have no favorites, it is just a better for yourself. Lending is more effectively done. Like that. Okay? Yeah. So please, here, you keep quiet. You don't talk about that. Because you don't know what to do to the things when you don't know. <laughs> okay? And you hear things, and yet it is to do with abuse. Then you've got the right to report. If a child comes to you and says that they are abused at home, then you've got the right to report it. Okay? But the abuse needs to be reported to the next teacher. The parents need to be called me. Okay? And you need to know the child. I am going to tell who, I'm going to tell the teacher what you say. Because keeping quiet can also make you feel so far. I don't know what people are doing with that, but it's not law in most laws in most countries. You hear of an of abuse from the child, you have to report it. If you don't, you will get locked up yourself. You get access for not So if it is a mistake by the child, it is your right as a parent, as a teacher, to report that because you can get access for not reporting that abuse. And the reason is because they say a lot of people are not reporting and there is abuse and sexual abuse because people report. Then the investigation but you don't report someone where someone is not you. If you suspect it, yes, you can report it for GPS. But that one is very good to the detective because once they are in the original, how did you know? Okay. And you don't need to have a case the child because that is not what you're doing. They're not a social worker. The details of the child will be used to the person who's training for that child to get. You will just read the The issue, the issue needs to be dealt with.